Yeah, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Back again, Round the Way Podcast, live and direct. You locked in with your mother boy, Mert. Yeah, you locked in with your boy, SB. We got yeah. a special guest today. Who that? Uh, Who we, that? A real Miami legend, man. <laughs> Who that? Who that? Yes, Baby sir. Blue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you bub, you crazy, boy. <laughs> that boy said he slayed so many women <laughs> to the mother uh-huh. records. He took they souls. That's, that's uh-huh. what, <laughs> he said, I took they souls. <laughs> I want to bring up some off-camera <laughs> fast, man. <laughs> this your boy Big Money Blue in the building, man. What it do? Yes, sir. Uh, what's up with you, man? Chilling. Happy to be out this month. Fresh home. Fresh home, man. Been doing since you been home, man. Shit. Getting money. Stay out of trouble. Getting money. <laughs> huh? I'm trying to stay out of trouble. It's hard, oh, man. man. It's hard, how man. Long, how long you how long you locked up for? A year. A year? Yeah, a year. It went by fast to you or? Nah. Sure. That bit was long. Every, that, every day huh? was 20. Every day felt Every like- day. Yeah, that shit was longer than a <laughs> Man, I was like, that bit was slow motion. I'm like, man, I can't wait to get the up out of here. What, you was on lockdown? like 20, what, you was Yeah, on? They, they had a lot of lockdowns because of COVID. They had a lot of lockdowns because they were trying to run in there and catch niggas with shit. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was excruciating. So they first. still was on that COVID shit? Yeah, when I got there, it was locked down. It wasn't nothing. No commissary, no no oh, leaving wow. out the unit, no nothing. And them still came down and brought me anyway. They came down anyway, but it was locked down. No movement. I ain't get. I ain't get no visits, no visitation, no letters, or none of that. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so you was piped out, why? Yeah, they tried me. I got let at, at first when they had me at the camp. First, they let me get letters and shit. when they moved me to the low. Oh, that was a wrap. I ain't get nothing. I was in that. No phone. I ain't had no phone privileges either. I had to use a cell phone. I ain't no choice. Damn, did somebody have with you some phone shit? Yeah, they no. caught. Yeah, they caught me with the phone. They caught. They caught the in my cell, and then it was a rat. They threw me in a hole. Stayed in for like forty something days. Damn. That, that was the first time going to prison. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, uh, first and last. Last time. Yeah. What What they originally gave you? They gave me twenty months. Yeah. Yeah, they gave me twenty months, but. You feel me? That when I went there, we was in the middle of COVID. They had something called the CARES Act. Mm-hmm. The CARES Act take time off. Yeah. They said I was eligible for that. Big money. I'm still fat. <laughs> <laughs> so they said I could get CARES Act. Then they told me I get some FSA that Donald Trump put in where Ed get like 15 days for every 30 days that he in prison. Mm. So they I got that too. But then they at when I first got there, like my first like two, three weeks there, when I'm just learning the system, learning how they do the count and all that shit like that, I'm sleeping through count. So now once they caught me sleeping through count, they like, oh, they we taking your cares at, we taking your your home confinement, you f on me. So then that so then once they took that shit, I started wild. I said, Oh, I'm gonna be stuck in this f- it. So what you Where the mean, phone at? What you mean by what you mean by you sleeping in count? I ain't never heard they ain't waking up when they doing count. Yeah, every every he day. Tri- yeah, he they tripping. count inmates. So, so he what, tripping. So, so what, if, you, if, you, what, if you don't get up for that, yeah, that's a penalty. That's, that's a, f- a that's that's called shot. Yeah. You got to get up every day at at four o'clock and do a mandatory count. And on the weekends, you got to get up. I think at ten. Acting like he's some nah, because I'm like yeah, I went through that, so it's like yeah, nah, because it's real. Uh-huh. You could it could be like you coming up missing. It could be like you coming up missing. Like what the f- this person that sleeping through count, boy? You a bad motherfucker. Okay, yeah, no yeah, bad. yeah. I, I was sleeping so, that. Yeah, it, it wasn't that I was bad. I just ain't pay attention now, to I'm the just fact. Saying in general, I ain't pay attention that they were counting every day at four. I, it oh, just sh- it ain't okay, registered yeah. to me. And uh, and they counting every thirty minutes. They like they like oh somebody <laughs> just ran out and this. Come back We trying to Count find up a, So when I, I'm just seeing That they counting Every 30 minutes I ain't realizing Oh at 4 o'clock Every day They counting We ain't even got no watch You got You know when that At first when I first Got there no watch You know a G-Shock Is like a rolling That be like 500 yeah. in there yeah. That's a big deal yeah. So when I first got there I got no I don't know what time it is I'm in La La Land I'm, All I know is Every time I wake up It's a whole mother Day of nothing Damn, Every yep. day Yep. I'm just in zom- a zombie. Yep. Like, so you said people was really running off, running off, and yeah, and I can't tell you the game on how I do it, but yeah, they even go come back. That yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, yo. Yeah, boy. So hey, so check this Man. out. So check this out, Blue. Yeah. 
when you first when you first figured out them boys was on you, how you felt? Like what the f- like was it you or was it with like how that sh- how you got like you feel what I'm saying? How that sh- came about? Nah, when I first found out they was on me, it was it was I went to my accountant first, and yeah. when I when I was trying to you know do shit with the bread or whatever, my accountant was like, "What's this big ass?" Two hundred some thousand chunk right here that that's missing. I was like, oh, I shot that to somebody. He was like, oh, that's illegal, boy. Let me call the lawyer right now. So we called the lawyer, and we we got suited and booted. We got ready. You feel what I'm saying? We knew they were coming. Then they showed me my paperwork. They like they showed me paperwork of somebody else, and I was in their paperwork. They were like, look, for me, he snitching on. Boom, boom. Here go your account right here. Uh, uh. Feel me? Get ready. They coming. It, but then never came. Like damn, it took forever for him to come. They weren't gonna come. I'm like, all right, maybe they understand. You know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. With it. <laughs> I'm like, man, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm spreading money around. I'm, I'm feeding the homeless. And I'm donating to charities. And you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. This man, nigga, man. man, what they? I'm. I just, dog. I got a feeling out of nowhere, bro. Like about <laughs> five in the morning, dog. I promise you. I swear to God. Okay, maybe. I'm like, man. Let me go to Atlanta. <laughs> I, I say, man, let me get up out of here, man. So I got up out of here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Mean, you jumped on the flight. I'm out there. So now I go up, up ball out with a bitch real quick. So by the, by the end of the night, you feel me? This the same exact day, dog. So I flew in, party hard. The end of the night, about 4 o'clock in the morning. Brrr, brrr, I say, damn, that's them. Oh, shit. I, I just felt it. I say, that's them. My, why, my phone don't never ring at four. It's an unknown number. Real. Hello? Yeah. We outside. It's the feds. <laughs> they like, yeah. Open yes. the door. We outside. They like, like, the dog barking. Ruh, ruh. My dog what barking the, the pit. They like, you don't open the door. We going to kick the door down. We going to kill the dog. Then my mama call it on the other line. She like, they outside. She, I say, man, man, the up, man, we knew they were coming. What you crying for? Like, you tripping? Get up! She on the floor crying in the bathroom. She locked herself in. Man, man, up! We knew they was coming. You feel me? I'm like, let me call my lawyer. So I called the lawyer. I'm like, hey, they at my door. They, they, you know what I'm saying? He's like, let them in. So I let them in, and then they like, where the Ferrari at? <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. I'm on my, my lawyer like, wait, 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 wait. You want the car? Y'all gotta let them out. It's like they're like, yeah, where is it at? He's not there. What you mean he's not here? Like, I guess they thought I was there. They thought they had to figure it out. So he like, he's not there. He in Atlanta. Tell him turn in in Atlanta. Where the car at? And my lawyer, I like, listen. We gonna we'll give you we'll give you the Rari. You gotta let him out today. They was like, my bond was like two hundred something thousand. They was like, apply the car towards the bond and we'll let uh, I right, bond. So I walked in the courthouse, walked in that. <laughs> Got a bologna and cheese sandwich. And walked out. It, nah, it took oh. longer than that. I got a bologna and cheese sandwich. They put me in a little holding cell. Made me speak to a public defender. I'm like, I got a lawyer. They were like, it don't matter. It's protocol. Made me speak to a public defender. Came back in. Now, I ain't eat my bologna sandwich. It was in a paper bag. When I came in, they, they had not sat me in the holding cell for so long, about six hours. So now, when I come back in, I want my bologna sandwich. So when I go in the room and I reach for that the police grabbed that bitch eh, and threw that bitch out. <laughs> I said, damn, I ain't eat. He said, oh, you should have said something then. Boom, <laughs> closed the door. I was like, damn, y'all so dirty. But I was, hey, it. so I, I, I chilled for a minute and then the judge saw me. The judge was like, hey, you want to stay here? You can stay here, plead guilty and stand in line. I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they said, all right, you got to turn in in Miami tomorrow or some shit like that. Got out. Boom, they let me straight out. Quick question. Then, then I flew back. How long How long after you bought the Ferrari, them people came? Nah, I, just, I don't know, man. That, that. No, okay, it's not, it's not, it, it wasn't about the Ferrari. Okay. I've been driving for them. It wasn't, it, wasn't about, it wasn't about the Ferrari. That's just what they used as a press release okay. yeah. for the headline to make it sound good. Yeah. It ain't had nothing. The Ferrari ain't had nothing to do with it. That's with cash, and it was in the business. It, I ain't even buy it. I bought it, but I ain't buy it. You understand what I'm saying? Like I understand what was going on. I'm like, hey man, he got this bread. Don't don't put it in my name. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, I never had it. I never owned it, man. They just they just attached it to me in a press release to make it look More good. Yeah, mm-hmm. they 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 ran they ran the press release for 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 clout Got the way it. a nigga do. They did they did that now. They True. put they put me air. 
24 million. With, get, get. They did that. <laughs> they, they put. Did. I heard it last night said it was 200 M's. Yeah, it, 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 I heard it last night say huh? two. You did a, you, you did a year for 200 M's. I heard him telling his brother that huh? that boy did an M. That boy did a year for 200 M's. Mm. I say no, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> they got you all over, boy. Yeah, they, yeah, they did that. They they did. They press release Department of Justice. God damn it, they did their thing. Well, I, I did my time. I did what it is. Ten toes down. Yeah, boy, no snitching. That's like, Feel me? That's Took shit. it on the chin. You said no snitching. None. Yeah, no. told on you, right? Told on yeah. me. Why attack me and everything? I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I Why attack me and everything, I heard, bro? I heard. Safety valve now Man hell no, nah. <laughs> Nah I ain't get nothing I ain't get nothing man I, I pleaded guilty And then really I, I told him I'm like I plead guilty Y'all can't go after no, no, Nobody that I gave money to Or nothing You can't And they was like Alright we'll agree to that Alright run it then Lock me up Let's go yeah. Put me in that Can I go now it's, it's coronavirus Can I go right now They like nah I don't work like that but Man put me in now Can't nobody go outside anyway mm -hmm. What's the difference We, You feel me They like nah We can't do it So so I really feel real Because I had to stay in For COVID And then I went And got locked up And had to stay in for that too My mind off I can't remember nothing no more Damn <laughs> hey, So how the old boy felt With that with that, huh? The old boy was great He, he, he ain't Can't be Nothing to do with it. He offended. Yeah. It, it, nothing right, to do yeah, with it. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I ain't even speak to him. You ever speak to him, Rich? Nah. Yeah. Nothing to do. <laughs> you, you understand? <laughs> right. I ain't even speak to him. that boy. I ain't even called him. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, I take that back. I called him one time from the Fed, and I know better. You know, when, <laughs> you don't call him from the Fed no. phone. <laughs> I just called him one time. I said, hey. Hello. Hey, I, I know I ain't supposed to call you. I know what's up. I'm just letting you know I'm straight. Hey, I do your time like a man. Don't be running out of fucking them. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Click. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was it. That's the only thing I was talking to this about the whole time I was in prison. One phone call. That's for three seconds. You feel me? It is what it is. So when, when, what did Baby Blue name came from? My daddy name Blue. My middle name Blue. Mm -hmm. All our middle name Blue. Mm -hmm. Every last one of them. Everybody Blue. Blue stars. You been Baby Blue before you even the rap. You know who really gave me the name Baby Blue was Socks Who started on Slip and Slide with Touche He gave me that name for real He was like man, Yeah I was trying to figure out a rap name Now my name Diamond It could be Diamond It should have been that It's like some pimp yeah. But it was like Nah Baby Blue you, you Blue you blue Junior I'm like alright Say look Oh you say Socks gave you that name Socks Yeah Socks yeah. 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 Socks gave me that name Yeah yep. Okay Man y'all chiefing in that bit Boy Boy don't do Nah, I hope I don't get no contact high and my piss nah, test. Nah, boy, your piss test gonna be a hey, one clear. My piss test better be oh, good. Done, hey, cuz, so uh -huh. let's talk about the bowling alley, man. Yeah. What the f happened, bro? Man, I walked out. I was putting on the plow. I walk outside. And when I walk out the door, we walk towards the car. When we walk towards the car, I seen the n I seen the n coming towards me. With the piss out And I like Nah I can't be real mm -hmm. that, Hey man get that shit up. Don't say nothing Man that, Then he pointed at my dog so Like he like That nigga like He like pointed at you I'm like oh man He finna kill my dog My, my brain thought All this shit instantly mm -hmm. yeah. I was like nah We ain't finna kill her This is the only chance I'm finna get To get this I try to kill, Try to kill that nigga you that like, you that like grab the gun? What yeah. Man This is a movie out here I thought I was Kimbo Slice out there Trying to feel me, yeah. You see what it's that? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And then, and then when it ran off, I'm like, shit, I ain't finna run like no. So I got up and I walked to the front door, slow motion, blood dripping everywhere. And I'm like, hey, call my old boy, call the ambulance. That was it. That was it. Mm. Yeah, they like, don't go to sleep. They cried as shit. I thought I was finna die anyway. I'm like. My brain, my brain was like, man, you finna die to go out like a soldier. So what? What, what it was like? The man was in the parking lot waiting. Like, so it looked like it looked like it looked like it looked like they were sitting there. I don't know if they got there after I got there or if they was there when I got there. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it it definitely wasn't random. Feel me? Yeah, because I had end up seeing that like y'all had it was like a post that they knew you was gonna be there. Had to, they had they had to yeah. in some some type of manner, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, we been ripping and running out here, man. That kind of shit don't 
gonna happen to us. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, you ain't lying. yeah we been out here with mm-hmm. all this mm-hmm. on. It, so it that was something different. Feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Especially that big ass medallion, bro. You can't miss that shit. Nah. nah. Cannot miss that. But my other would be like this, though. I had the big cube and nigga, what, what, 30 millimeter. I flooded with the big. I had the money big at one point before the Versace got in style. I had the big Versace. Ugh, yeah, I, I stopped. Yeah. Then I got the motherfucking the, the 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 pyramid from the dollar bill. I stopped. I've been doing that shit. The motherfucking nigga, um, Benjamin Franklin with the bandana on before Blueface came. I bad. Remember, I sent the email. I like, I'm gonna change my name to Blueface. But uh, Tony Neal was like, Nah, don't do it. Don't do it. And then Blueface came by. I was already on that, man. Yeah. Up. Yeah, I had that. I had the Benjamin Franklin. Y'all seen that on South Beach. You don't remember the big Benjamin Franklin head with the bandana on mm-hmm. South Beach with the blue one? Oh, yeah. What you talking about? Yeah, we been, we been on this. Moolah gang. Yeah. <laughs> Moolah gang, baby. Yeah. Hey, so, cuz, what made y'all start getting into music? What when made, y'all first started, like, getting into music? What made us start? Like, what made y'all start first getting into music? Yeah, when y'all first started, actually. Shit, getting into music. My brother was doing music first. My older brother, that fat nigga, boy, fat God boy, bless the dead, cause yeah, yeah, bless the peace, cause yeah, fat boy was doing. Um, he was rapping first with with Jungle no, Mob, with Jungle Mob, with Nosy Boy. Yes, right. So that's um Derek Thomas' little brother. Yes, right. So they was rapping first. I was legit. I was really in college. Um, but he this. Got to take me to school every day, like six in the morning. I'm like sixteen or some shit, right? Mm-hmm. So now, when he taking me to school, I got to listen to the music. Then he pick, he the one got to pick me up. So when he picked me up, instead of taking me home, we got to go to the studio. Mm-hmm. And the studio was like in Hillsboro or something. So I'm literally leaving from the studio at four in the morning. Got to get home. Then my old boy, for the lack of a better word, I don't want to say what, but he that 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 worked the. Out of it. This is my daddy And I love it to death I said, well, Don't play with my daddy Death. Listen Man I come home This This that, Hey You gotta clean the dog kennel We got pit bulls I gotta walk these clean, Spray the kennel out You feel me Then we got a big Fish tank Like the size of this table About six. I gotta clean that Magnet <laughs> Feel me Clean the whole mother Fish tank got, Feed the fish You feel me Then Go jump in the shower Get ready And go to college I'm a kid he, Doing nothing. Why you ain't making fat boy spec yeah. slick? Yeah. Plaza, yeah. Why, why you ain't yeah. making them clean up? This got me doing all this because I'm responsible. You know I'm gonna do it right. I, I play. Yeah. I got real good attention to detail, but it is cool. I can handle the pressure, so I do that shit. Mm-hmm. homework and will go to the studio, write a song, go back, learn how to produce. I ain't even know how to do nothing. I learned how to produce first, so I taught myself how to engineer, how to make beats, all of that. So now when Fat Boy started folding on the music where he was like, oh, he don't really want to do it and see you beefing with his b-. I'm like, I do it. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So boom, that I, I told old boy, let me let me grab it. Let me get the toy. So grab that, you feel me? Then we start f- with Teddy T, Power 96. Six, yeah. And then I think I did the intro for Teddy T Morning Show. That's like the number one requested record on his show. And then we went and did Halloween Horror Night for Power 96. And Eddie Mix was like, man, bring me that record. And we brought him grind on me. That shit was the number one most requested record in the history of Power 96, like ever. You feel me? And mm-hmm. then shit went from there. Then Craig Cameron flew down. When Craig, when Craig flew down, right? Who's Craig Cameron from Atlanta? Craig Cameron from Atlanta, the CEO. When he fly down, right? So now, this shit, hey, hey, y'all meet me at the Lowe's Hotel. So, like, well, you know, we, we, we just had went to Universal and we, we drove up to Universal. We, we put it, we got a cooler, put some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in that. We put we got like a uh like a mother. Remember Walmart used to sell them fifty cent sodas, mm-hmm. two liters. Mm-hmm. So we got the cooler full of that. So each of us drive. We doing a hundred miles an hour. Dog, we were young and stupid as. Dog, I swear to God, we driving a hundred miles an hour through the night trying to get to New York. Right. So now we get to New York, and then we ain't know this is our first time in New York. You you got to park on either the left or the mm-hmm. right side at mm-hmm. a certain time. They come tow your. Shit. So. We done parked on the wrong side, bitch. They done towed the whip. We like, damn. So now we spend half a day trying to get the whip back. So now we finally end up at Universal. We jump on the tables. The same tables Nelly, Nelly performed on that month. The executive 
name was Sal. This nigga ain't even lift his head up. This nigga, head, this nigga was in the book the whole time reading. And like we on the we on the table performing. performing yeah, 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 like yeah. this. Like he don't give a f and that nigga got up and walked out. And that was the that was a rap. He ain't signed us. James Eckerberg at the end, I'm like, man, these the hottest in the side. What you doing? Like he like, man, nah. So now we go back home. So now this about two weeks later, two, three weeks later, you feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo. You said Greg Cameron came down. No, yeah, I just told you the story before Craig came out, two weeks before. Okay. We went to Universal first. Okay. Yeah. They ain't signing. Mm -hmm. Then we came back. Then Craig Cameron yeah, get, get okay. word that they put the record in. You All feel right. what I'm saying? On Power 96. Six. So now he come down. So now when Craig come down, he like meet us at the Lowe's. So when we go to the Lowe's Hotel, this out in the bushes and shit. You feel me? We, we don't know he in the bushes. All we know is when we jumped out the mother Whip. Remember we used to have the clothes, we used to make the clothes, yeah, you had glitter, clothes. glitter and yeah, shit. Yeah, all that shit yeah. Jump out, bitch, the glitter and the elf. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The glitter blinging. Yeah. So now this the bush is like, oh, yes. right, like these oh. stars. <laughs> right? Yes, so yes. now, so now we jump out. So all of a sudden some dude walk up. You feel what I'm saying? It's some white dude with some with some blue jeans on. Yeah. So this like, well, who are y'all here to see? We're like, oh, we here to see Craig Cam. He say, right this way. So he take us upstairs. He try to put the key in the door. The key don't work. So now we just, we like, damn, the key ain't working. Like, we like, we just yeah, so, we just so yeah, sad yeah, for yeah, no yeah, reason. Yeah. <laughs> we like, damn, the key ain't working. So he like, man, give me a minute. Let me go get somebody to, to fix the door or whatever. So now he go get the thing. Now we don't know who this is. All we know is it's a dude with a, with a shirt and shirt because he was pulling up like this. Yeah. You feel me? And some dirty jeans on because this. Killing in the bushes. We don't know this. We just thinking he the dough man. This open the door. This say, so let me see what y'all got. Y'all waiting on Craig, right? Let me see what you got. So we grab the spoon, knives, forks, and shit. We grab that and just hit it like it was a hundred thousand niggas in that and killed it. That say, oh man, I'm signing y'all right now. I'm Craig Cowman. I got the contracts in the other room. Let me do the deal right now. My daddy, my daddy, like, nah, wait, 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 yep. wait, wait, wait. Hold up, now. You know we got other labels trying to sign him. We got Universal <laughs> trying to sign him. <laughs> You know you the universal just turned us down. <laughs> wait, we, we got no, universal no, no, no. trying to sign away. You know who we talking <laughs> about now, boy. Wait, wait, wait. That so blue, now, boy. So now Craig said, okay, well, you know, let me give you a little history. You know what I'm saying? I'm Craig Cowman. I know you heard um, um this one girl who had got this song, One in a Million. You know her name? Yeah, yeah, that's Aaliyah. Yeah, I signed her. You know, and the, and the producer that, that worked with her, that made the song for her, you know, he got an album called 12 Play. I tell you, yeah, I signed him too. It did it. So this, all these mother. Timberland, mm -hmm. R. Kelly, mm -hmm. Missy, everybody that he blew up, and he was like, and I'm gonna blow y'all up the same way. So now we hype. My daddy like, well, I, I, well, you know, just hold up for a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's go see a show. <laughs> Let's see a performance real quick. He tried to get some leverage, right? So he said, all right, no problem. When you perform, we got a show tomorrow at ML Martin Luther King Parade. All right, so boom. So now we go down to Martin Luther King Parade at what the f that was like, like in the city. In the city, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. man, that. Pack. I'm talking about like 30,000 motherfuckers out there. So now we go out there, we perform, you know, slide left, uh, mm -hmm. slide All right. right. Uh, yep. My, uh, oh, yep, yep, but, man, yep. them girls run, they run, they break the barricades down, boom, they, yeah. they chase us, remember, they jump on the yep. stage, they run back stage, they banging, happened, they banging on the van. Ah, we won't break it, break it. They banging on the van. And we like, where Craig at? Where Craig at? He ain't here. Damn. He ain't make it. We like, damn. This, you see this? So now he called. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't make it. I was. I was. I'm on the way though. Where are you? Oh, it's too late. We performed already. Oh, we like. We got another show. Martin Luther King Parade in Holiday. All right, I'm gonna come to that one. We go to Holiday. Pleasure, Mama on stage. She got a band. His mama on stage. It ain't nobody in the crowd, man. It's two ants carrying tater chips. Man. Oh God. I'm like, God hey. damn. Ain't nobody out there. And this coming to see us perform for nobody, oh. right? So now when we get out there. You feel me? Man, it, it was God, man. I, I can't make it up. Man, as soon as they say, man, y'all get ready for pre the whole crowd, it was about three, four thousand motherfuckers out there. Now, it, it ain't 30,000, but it was like three, four thousand yeah. motherfuckers out there. It's packed, all girls. I don't know you that. already know. Get on stage, slide down. Yeah. Slide all right. right. Don't look. Like this, don't look. <laughs> man, they come running. <laughs> so they chase us on the stage. Boom, they running. They bang on the car. Boom, 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 boom. They bang. Oh, we want, we want, pre -read. Man, this motherfucker, I seen him get on the phone. Man, I just found the Black Beatles. I just found the, the Jackson 5. Give them what they want. Let's just give them what they want. We got to sign them now. I, I seen them say this. So now, he flies up to Atlantic. 
He, he say, all right, I need to showcase y'all for the label. Now, when you get signed to a label, they just because you signed to a major don't mean you finna blow up. Yeah. yeah. They got to literally believe in your project. Yes. So now they make you do a showcase for everybody in the label and either you trash or you not. Mm -hmm. So now they, they bring everybody out there. Kevin Lyles, Julie Greenwald, all these big executives, Mike Kaiser, the, the biggest execs you can think of, everybody in the lobby. Leo Cohen there too. Man, we killed that. We, and then when we walk through the label, you know, we, we, we ladies, man, came through that a box of roses. We just, yeah. we passing the roses out. They like, they couldn't believe it. They was like, these came and brought yeah, everybody do. roses yep. in the label. It yep. was over from nothing. They made us the biggest group in the world. Just like that. It was like, uh, like a snap of a finger. So let me ask you this. Cause how pretty Ricky came about? What you mean? Like how we put how the group link, together? Yeah, how y'all put the group together when y'all linked up with Marcus and like that? Like let the people know how that <laughs> came up. <laughs> That's a funny story. That's yeah. a funny story. You know, so, I know. So so check it right. So now we already got the group. At first, you know, my older yes. brother was in it. Then he ended up out of it. Now yeah. it's it's me, it's Spec, it's Slick. That's it, it's right? It's Pretty Ricky and the Mavericks. Pretty Ricky and the Mavericks. Yes. It ain't no pleasure yet. Yes. We running up and down the Southeast region. We bumping in the Ross. Facts. We bumping in the Trina. We bumping in the Pitbull. You know the ones who finna make it. We bumping yes. into them. Yep. We up and down the Southeast region. And everybody who blew up, we running into them. That's a fact. Right? We working. So now, we do, um, I want to say we do, nah, we ain't do core, core retreat and all that shit yet. So we running up and down the Southeast region. And then we, we headline a show at Flanagan. High school, yeah, right? Yeah, we was there. Okay, <laughs> we was there. So now, man. so now, <laughs> let me see if you know this, right? So now, there was a group of girls called the Spectacular Chicks. Yeah, who? Okay, come on now. <laughs> One is right there in the crowd. Yeah. Okay, oh. Spectacular Chicks, right? So now, these girls was the baddest <laughs> in Lauderdale. They was like the finest ones, right? <laughs> they, they, man, yeah. I don't give. A fuck. They go to the flea market, they shut it down, right? These bad. So now. Spectacular, and it's just by coincidence that Spectacular talked to one of the girls in the clique, and they called the Spectacular chicks. It ain't wasn't cause of him, but it just was a coincidence. He was talking to this girl named Daniel, right? So now we at the school, so we performing this, shit, and we and Spec on stage, we performing this, shit, but they all the girls is there. They they kind of there. She probably put them on game, like oh you finna beat up that, right? So now when we get off stage, a, a Come up to me and he like, hey man, I'm trying to get in the studio, man. I, I can pay whatever. You feel what I'm saying? I like, all right, give me like 700 an hour. I right, ain't say less. I'm gonna do it. He ain't say less. He say, all right, I'm gonna do it. Right? So now, this that was pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure was there because guess who pleasure baby mama is? Dang, my Dang. cousin. No, come yo, on. Yo, yo, that was so crazy. Exactly. So now, so now it's like, damn. We, but we ain't talk about it yet. We ain't know this. Yes, we exactly. just, yeah, I just know he at the school. Cool. I don't yes. know why he there. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? He there. He probably there because he there checking on his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? So now I tell him, I say, yeah, I could do it. Matter of fact, a nigga just wrote a record that I need a singer on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come to the studio. And that record was grind on me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I'm like, here go the words. Like, grind on me. Relax your mind. Take your time on me. Let me get deeper. So I explained the record to him and shit. So now we start working in the studio from like 7 p.m. to about 4 in the morning. We order a pizza. He ordered the pizza. Feel me? Peter came with him too. Yeah, so they Peter ordered, was there. Yeah, yeah. Peter, Peter brought him. <laughs> in fact. Peter brought him. So now we order a pizza and then we work to about 4, four in the morning. Okay? So now we go to sleep. We wake up again at about 6. I'm like, back to it. So first we laid the leads, the, all the chorus. And then I'm like, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I need you to do all the notes. I don't even know if this knew how to do harmonies yet or nothing. But he in that. He in I that, stacked them did. so big. I did, boy. Man, I did about 30, 40 vocals of harmonies. Like, I, I need the harmonies. So, bun, so he give me the harmony vocals. Then, same thing. Order a pizza. We working about four in the morning. Go to sleep again. The next day, this the third day now. You feel me? I write my verse. This is like the formula for the pretty Ricky shit, Right? I do the rap part. And he seen the end of my line. Mm -hmm. When I hit him, my make say, uh, that, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, uh. So yeah. we we figured that out, right? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, I'm like, damn, I want you to do the end of the bars, but I want you, since you in the studio with me, you know the verse. So when I come in at the back, instead of how I normally rap, come in and do it, I want you to sing, sing it. it. Yes. Yeah. So yes. we created that that sound right there. That was the magic moment, right? Yep. So now when I, I'm rap the and then he come in and he sing the song, right? So now I'm like, you done been here three days, dog. Go home. Man, you might as well move the 
in, man. Mm-hmm. You're like, for real? I'm like, yeah. Might as well move in. You don't be here three days. We might well add you to the group. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's like, for real? Man, hello? Yo, they just rushed the block. They, just, they, they, they done locked everybody up. What? They done locked this whole hood up. Mm-hmm. All, all his homeboy. He ain't had no choice. So now he's stuck at the crib now. So now he there. You feel me? We do the deal with him. Throw him in a group. And sign about three months later, yeah. maybe. Yeah. maybe. Maybe maybe three to Y'all six months later. quick, fast. Quick. Quick, fast. Yeah, we drove up to Universal. Yep. Got shut down. When we went, and I'm going to tell you what happened. Because when we when we did grind on me and we played it, everybody got goosebumps. Hell raised. My daddy like, oh, shit. This shit, this shit gave him goosebumps. Then we called Big D over. Big D brother, the one who produced it. So Big D came over. He the one. He gave me that beat by three years earlier. Damn. And that just sat in the computer. So then, literally out the blue, a fucking day or two before I meet Pleasure, I pull the mother so like man, what the fuck that beat at that sound like some one twelve. Pull the shit up, write the shit, meet Pleasure, record the hit record, first record we ever do. That's God. Yep. You can't tell me that no, ain't God. That was God, bro. You can't tell me that ain't I God. I watch how that went. I watch how that went together. Yeah. How much records y'all had already recorded before y'all actually went to the label? Cause you said grinding me was basically was sound was, was recorded before y'all even went mm-hmm. to the Good question. Yeah. Before before we went to the label, Grind on Me was the first R and B one that we had. When we went up there, that's the only one we had. We okay. had cause we you know we were doing the gangster rap. Yeah. We were doing jungle mob, jungle all that. Mob. Shit. Yeah. You feel me? So when we went up there, that's the only R and B record we had. So then when Universal shut it down, and then James Eckerberger was like, "Listen, y'all gotta fuck with the record pools. Go and see." He told me go see TJ DJs. So then we went did TJ DJs at the moon with Gucci Man and Tally, Tally, and Tallahassee. Bro. Gucci Man wasn't even blowed up yet. This Gucci Man was there with a mother chain with a stoplight on that, a iced out stoplight, and he was they just had the so icy record. He's trying to blow that up. So we in the building and this TJ DJ was like, stop the music, stop the music, man. Look at these man, y'all learn from these. These got an image. Yeah. These Got an image, and I swear to God, we blew it like that, uh, just like that. He, he started. It, it, I remember that shit like yesterday. So what it was? What, what was it like the first time? You know what I mean? The big budget Atlanta Records. What was it like that first time recording that album? Like you know what I mean? All the producers, Jim Johnson. Well, well, after after Grind on Me got on the radio, and that bitch was the number one requested record like so fast. I'm why they paying it seventy times a week. Mm-hmm. I instantly was like, man, I need more records like this. So I hit Big D first. Big D, I need, I need some more records like this. He like, what's your budget? I felt disrespected. I was like, what's your budget? What the f- he was like, I feel, I, I just ain't understand the business at the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm mm-hmm. like, what's your budget, man? I went home. N- I'm sorry, playing with them on that keyboard. Man, let me hire a, a guitar player. Pleasure, like I got a guitar. N- ain't Ludus. He went and found Ludus. Sh- you feel me? And then. Just start whipping them beats up by itself. So then we did AJ nothing but a number, Shorty B mine. I don't know. We did we did a bunch of a bunch of records right then. So that was the foundation of the R and B records. It was really just me and Pleasure in the studio at first before the rest of them came in. And then um and then it went from it went from that to adding adding spec verses, adding slick verses. Now we got whole complete songs. Mm-hmm. And then. When uh, then it let one, all that happened like within them six months. Then Atlantic came signed us, and then they we end up booking out every studio in Miami, Circle House, Hit Factory, that f- studio, Khaled Bart. We 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 booked every studio that was available, and each studio we had producers in each one. A lot of the beats they were trying to reproduce this and shit with behind the back shit like that you feel me? But we were working. All the songwriters, all the we had the church choirs in the month, everything. We just were putting. That Together. It was like making a masterpiece. Yeah. You feel me? And Shorty, would you be mine? That that was a song. Y'all revamped that. That was yeah. I had already. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, had he had the hook that. for Shorty yeah, be, mine, be mine, and he had the hook for Asian number, number, number. number. Yeah, yeah, y'all did that. Yeah. And he had another record called "Feel the Rush." I kept trying Feel to get the rush. You <laughs> damn right. <laughs> I kept trying to get do it, but it was too late. Once we blew up, they felt Feel the Rush. They, yeah, they, they found it. Just loved it. Yeah, they found how they, it. How it was. That's uh, real. Yeah, yeah, they found it. It, it back then it was lime white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Burning. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, they burn the CD. CD CD press machine. Hey, I seen some the other day, right? It, 
When y'all be y'all was talking about when y'all was on Man, the club. if I piss dirty to make sure y'all put commissary on my yeah, book. All this talk- m- man, Ed in his room better put m- money on my book every week. Cause this, get y'all n- every in day. A- you could get to me every day. You could get to me every day. Man, I hey. ain't smoking. Man, hey, hey. listen. I ain't <laughs> smoking no smoking. thing, man. Really? God. Damn. Damn, what the I gonna say this a while ago? Huh? Open Damn. the door. It's a hot box. What the I gonna say? What about the Scream Tour? How was it known? The first time I did the Scream Tour. The Scream oh, Tour yeah. came about. So so once we got on the label and we did about we did about three months of promo. We got into we got into a man, wrapped mm-hmm. that album cover, you feel me, and just drove it to every city, every radio station, every DJ, and Introduced them all over again to the Pretty Ricky version signed to a label. Like, got back up this time. So now we went, once we did that for three months, then the record label came back and was like, okay, we need y'all to go to do all the summer jams in every city. So now, we still ain't making no money now. They just working us like money. Hey, hey that's, don't mean to cut you off, but that's what I was about to say. Hey, I remember when y'all boys was on that road. Y'all boys. Yeah, y'all boys were some road warriors, boy. Road warriors was ready to come home, but we wanted it so bad. Yeah. We like got here, so we going city to city. You feel me? Phil was with us. Phil, Phil, shout out to Phil. So now we going city to city, and we doing all the summer jams. So we do that all summer. Then they come back, and just when we thinking we done, they like, nah, we need y'all to do like the winter balls. So now they work up. Now we just we just did. Free promo every radio station, free summer jams, free winter balls. Then they come screen tour. Oh, we can't pay y'all for that either. We, we need y'all to do it for free. We the, we got the biggest record in the country. Nah, we need y'all to do it for free. We going to give y'all tour, tour support. We going to pay for your tour bus. Just go on the road. Trust us. All right, man. It. We going to kill these. So then we go out there and we do the shows. Nah. We ain't got no budget like that. They gave us a hundred thousand of some tour support. We use that on on the buses mm-hmm. to get the buses. Mm-hmm. So now we got to figure out what we finna do to kill these. So now when we go to the hotel room, I'm sitting in that and I and I look around and I'm like, I got it, man. Grab them sheets off the bed. So now nigga, grab the sheets. Yeah. So now we go. We we lay the sheets out on the bed, on the stage, and we crawl under the sheets. Before before the come on, now the flows light up. Mm-hmm. So now when we crawl under the sheets and they and the flows light up under the sheets, man, them girls go crazy. crazy. They like they yeah. did on hey, stage. Hey, huh? hey, hey! I remember a girl called me from y'all concert one time. Yeah, man. <laughs> boy, they, 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 they on stage at that. <laughs> I said, yeah, boy, that's how they yeah. get. <laughs> yeah. So now we on stage. Under the sheets, <laughs> then they come. They 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 do like the the weekend play. We the, like they yeah. start beating and, shit, and then we jump up from each sheet. Uh uh uh, with the pants down, pants down. <laughs> not, they go crazy. I'm talking about how you gonna top that Bow Wow and Marion? What the verses at B2K? They they can't top that. We jump up, print out, and we them like <laughs> feel me? Yeah. We got the grip back then. At the grill, at Paul Wall did my mm-hmm. grill back then too. Jump up, yeah, man, they go crazy. crazy so yeah. now, boom, that you can't top that. After that, you might as well because it, it made they seem so cookie cutter. You feel yeah, me? So yeah. now we we went, we did the whole tour free. We sold thirty thousand records every night all the way till we went platinum. Every night, so it was like don't care. We did it free. Went home. Hey, hey, they sent a million. Here, here go a million. Go in the studio. I'm, I'm back in the studio. Let's go. You feel me? But now we beefing with pleasure now. Now it's a, we beefing this. Cuz, what? Go ahead. Talk, easy. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Y- y'all beefing with pleasure. Cuz, yeah. what? Yeah, like, why? Well, what's up, cuz? What, what's up with that? Why? Like, what, what? 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 Why? That's how the business go. I mean, pleasure had a jit before everybody else had jits. He yes. needed, he needed money before everybody else yes, needed money. Yes. We ain't care about money. We already rich. Yes. We, we, we already living in the mansion. We don't need no money. You know what I'm yes. saying? But he need money. Hey, so, Pete, huh? Yeah. So he, he need bread. So it's kind of like, 
the pressure that he was feeling, we weren't really feeling that. You know what I'm saying? So he came to me. I'm at Circle House one day, and he like, man, I ain't finna lead the group, bro. I want to talk. I, I ain't finna lead. I just need money. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. He like, I'm trying to holler at the old boy. So I, I told the old boy, man, that like, man, write them accounting statements up. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Sugar sure night and pop, boy. Yeah. Pull that book out. What's Hold up. Called? This after this after what y'all? Hold up. Uh, this after the Blue Stars album. Damn. We spent we spent a million on the Blue Stars album too. Remember we had every studio book that. That's the second album. At the first That's album. The first we album. had okay. every Every studio book, every yeah. songwriter, every producer, we spent a million. I, I gave Circle House a million dollars by itself. Just BB got a million by itself. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but, we, Blue, but Blue, I'm saying, though, huh? even though y'all was making money, though, man, y'all was the biggest group at that time. Y'all was on TRL. I mean, it, on, yeah, it point. it's money y'all coming was, in, but that was all on the radio every day, every minute, every single station, like in Miami. Broward. Yeah, but they, they, the money wasn't getting dispersed equally. Everybody wasn't getting money. So who, you see what I'm saying? Who was in control of the money, though? Old boy. My old boy. The old boy, they, man. Come on, I beat the yeah. old boy, man. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Joe Jackson. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> Joe motherfucking Jackson. But, but, but you got to understand, bro. He a street yeah. put his money in. You yeah. got to make his money back. You want to make yeah. a profit. But he, he wasn't even seeing a profit. Remember, we just did three months straight. A free promo. Then another three months summer jams. Then another three months winter balls. Then we then we did the the screen tour and only got a hundred thousand from the from the label tour support. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't got time to do no regular shows. I'm gonna ask, I'm, I'm gonna ask though, like we was making like forty fifty thousand a night merch though. What y'all see? Y'all still making but Yeah, we making money, but I mean so bills are like fifteen thousand a month. On three sixty deal? No, no, we we came in before three sixty deal was yeah, invented. Yeah, I mean, y'all Platinum, y'all wasn't y'all was gonna platinum, dog. It was money there. I ain't said with no money there. I'm saying pleasure wanted money. But, okay, was you getting money though? What you mean? He ain't care. Nah, but, but, but nah, because in hindsight, a grown man now, do you understand what pleasure was coming from? Got to. I just said that he had a kid before yes, everybody so, else yeah. had kids. So, so we ain't yes. had no pressure about no money. We been riding Bentley. Nigga, care. Range yeah. Rovers. Like, my first car was a Range Rover. Ben had money. Yeah. If we weren't stressing about no yes. bread, but Ain't Pleasure care. needed money. Ple- Pleasure had a kid. Yeah. And then his whole block just got locked up. He was hustling. You see what I'm saying? But at, at, at the time, y'all wasn't trying to hear that, though. It wasn't that we weren't trying to hear it. We just couldn't comprehend they, it. Yeah. We were speaking different languages. Yeah. So, oh, no. when he, yeah, when he came and hollered at me, and he like, man, I, I, I don't want to lead a group. I just need bread. And this, so now I go back, and I'm like, hey, man, you know, he just want man, do that accounting. Do the do the accounting. I'm like, I. <laughs> I told Pleasure my bad, dog. <laughs> Typing that bitch up. <laughs> Pleasure said, "Oh, well, you know money, Pleasure. <laughs> you spent all that." No, <laughs> like you, 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 that's you, the music you, business. You actually in the red. <laughs> yeah, you in the red. This yeah. the hey. My office hours are from nine, nine to, to five. That's me. I told you. That's the music business, dog. So yeah. it's like we grow from that, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You learn. You learn from that. You feel yeah. me? And it's cool. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah. So now he started feeling like, okay, I need my own management. I need my own team. He needed that. You feel me? Then I got my whole team. So now me and this. Literally beefing. I'm talking about nigga. We can't even walk past each other. We doing, we doing it 106. Deep, it was deep. Oh, it was deep. It was. Yeah, this, oh, this yeah, manager yeah, yeah. was Jimmy Hitchman. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you. what you mean? I'm talking about now. No. Yeah, it was deep. Talk, facts, talk, facts, talk, facts. Blue, facts. So basically, it was some, it was some pressure. It was, nah, it ain't never no pressure. It just was deep. It was a heated situation. Yeah. You understand it to, to the point like we we we, we doing 106 in part and. You gotta have security that walk walk this this way, security that walk us in this way, so we don't bump into each other and in the backstage. And nobody know. I'm we not. and we'll go on stage, we'll do our like maybe Terrence and Rossi or Fifty Cent in the middle of some when we will do that and niggas going their separate ways. Yo. And then I'm still a nigga man, cause I'm still like, hey, I need to holler at P. Yeah. Like what you <laughs> mean, go. Blue? Yeah, you tripping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what you mean, Blue? You tri- nah, man. I need to talk to my brother, man. You yeah, tripping? Yeah, like, yeah. Open the door, man. Yeah. Let me, nah, <laughs> facts. They like, facts. nah, nah, Blue, man. We just don't want the problems, man. Nah, man. Let me holler at him. Nah, we don't want the problems. All right, say less, man. You feel me? Dude, hit the elevator. Nicki Minaj, Joe. 
Yeah, you know that. You feel me? What's up, Nikki? You want you one of them crazy um cause I was gonna yeah, that's what I was gonna ask about, bro. Like I seen the other day, I don't know what podcast what you was on, but y'all on tour, y'all hitting mamas and daughters at the same at, at the same time. Yeah. That's rock star it happen every day, B. Yeah, that's rock star. Boy, that's that's and, that's see we see listen, they chop that up how they wanted to. Okay. I ain't even and, watch it. I just read the I just read the put up. Go, listen, yeah. when they asked me that shit, I told them, man, what happened behind closed doors, stay behind closed, closed doors. Door. We don't run our mouth. We exactly we really do this. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you exactly. know how many celebrity I don't f- I ain't talking about nothing. None we yes. don't do that, bro. Yeah. Like you it's a cold. You ain't supposed to talk about none of that. You supposed to the second you turn to a runny mouth nigga start talking about it's it's Man. over for you. You can't f- us. That's it. You dead a lame. Flies. You a lame. Now. You dead flies. Yeah, that's it. So oh. I tell. I told the nigga. I say, man, what happened behind closed doors? Stay behind closed doors. Man, that nigga edit that. <laughs> talk that. Up. Hey, put him out. Yeah, put it out there. Yeah, I gotta go with the flow. I can't. What I'm gonna yeah, do? We don't do that. Social type of, media. We don't do that I over even, here, man. I even seen the next one. You was like, you was in the camp. And all the COs. I'm like, man, they chopped this. Up, man, it, 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 the same thing. Like, uh, like man, you just, man, uh, man, they go down. Where you heard me say that? They chop that up to make it look how they wanted to look. That's that's the era that we in, man. Paint a picture, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna spray no. Them women got jobs at the prison. You understand? Exactly. What I'm it's still niggas at the prison. Yeah. You gotta understand, like you, you still gotta be protective of the niggas in yes, prison. Yes, that's in prison. You see, look, fact. you just asked me. You like this is. I'm like, I can't tell you that. How you know what I'm saying? It, yeah, it go down, but I can't tell you how it's going down. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, we yeah. still gotta be protected. It's a whole nother world. I gotta protect yep. that world. I'm from that Facts. world. I gotta I gotta protect that. You know what I'm saying? Really, like a nigga draw snitching, man, basically. Yeah, yeah, we ain't doing that. You feel me? You gotta keep you gotta keep kosher. So now, you know, God forbid you ever end up in that situation where you have a kid or a family member or anybody there, they cut from good cloth. They ain't cut from no Clock. They ain't no, yep. they ain't no mouse because they Jeez. daddy. Yeah, yeah, that shit Facts. matter. That shit, matter. that shit matter, dog. Oh, the first nigga. thing my daddy ever taught me was, man, don't be no snitch. I was a kid, bro, little ass kid. So when the feds came to me, they're like, oh, we need you, to, man. Nah, I'm not doing that. My lawyer, like, man, them, man, that snitching on you, man, man. I don't give. A I'm not snitching on him, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. Like, it, whatever he doing is what he doing. Now I gotta go back to the hood. The I gotta look my daddy in the eye. Now I ain't finna be no. I nigga. knew that shit never be what? attached to you. I knew that. Hell no. So blue. That's dead. Hold on you. When y'all was doing the music though, blue. How come y'all ain't never on um, do no features or nothing like with no artists like? So many artists asked us to do features, and I lit. I, I got arguments with pleasure about this, cause I'd be like, man, features, dog. Like we got our own brand. We already rap and sing. We don't need no to do no features. You know what I'm saying? So. It, we we turned a lot of that shit down just to and that's why the brand is a household name. That's why that right now we can still tour and get that bag off of that bit because it, it ain't you ain't saying oh that hottest verse on on one of our records our mm-hmm. records mm-hmm. our records yeah you see what I'm saying right now they every sampled our records you feel what I'm saying so it, it for that reason but I can say you feel me out of peer pressure from the label <laughs> I did. Get Missy Elliott on, on the hotline, and man gave her that bag too. I can't remember. It was some thousands of thousands. How it, much? How much? Man? A lot, dog. About five hundred. It was a lot, dog. I gave it. Yeah, it was a lot. Missy Elliott got a bag. Rick Ross did that bit free. Jim Jones did free. Uh, Khaled did free. You know what I'm saying? Just out of respect, out of love, we all might. Mm-hmm. But Sean Paul gave her that bag. For for pushing baby, yeah. So wait, that, that was out of y'all budget or the label pay for it? We were independent. That it, no matter what is our money. That's y'all money. Yeah. yeah, and then and then the the push it video that was a million dollar music video. That in Prague, they ain't even speak English over that. They was in the we like doing sign language, trying to tell them how to dance and shit. So yeah, that was that we blew that bread on. Blew a lot of bread. We did features though. You know what I'm saying? Like I did, I produced. Did a record with H Town and Joe C, you know what I'm saying? Trick, so Snoop Dogg. I got the first Bone Thugs and Harmony record that they ever did since they broke up. I ain't even put that that's just on my hard drive. Damn. Yeah, we, so we do do some. Kelly did us a record, so stupid. Ooh wee, that did us a record, 
And then he put it out though And y'all heard it But at the time when he did it Nobody ever heard it The, the nigga gave us a record For like For like a quarter million dollars And the record said Ooh 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 Ah 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 <laughs> You I did it That bitch was hard That bitch was saying Ooh 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 Ah 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 is it, and then it's, a, it's a, those are the sounds I want to hear when you moaning in my ear. Baby, sing it to me. Ooh, 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 ah, ah. That, nah, it was a monkeys. And shit. Nah, that bitch was stupid, nigga. So that bitch, uh, nigga, that bitch was two hundred some thousand. So now when we having to meet in that circle house, and my daddy like, man, that's too much money, man, for us to pay for the record, man. What you think? I'm like, man, I could, I could do that. Shit. Myself, dog, <laughs> and then like, man, let's hear what Static got. You feel me? And then Static came in and played some songs. You feel me? Well, God bless the dead. Static major. Yeah, Static major, boy. And then, yeah, and Static played the the beat for on the hotline, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, let's work on that. And then nigga wrote that Static, and then um, we in that bitch vibe, and we come up with the lines. You know what I'm saying? It's five in the morning, but whatever. And this pleasure won't come to the studio. We like come to the studio. Let me play you this record. So come in. Drunk. He just, he left the club. At the club, he come in Hulk. drunk, play that bit, that one take. And like, man, I'm finna do one take, man. I'm going to the club. And then Kane stumbled in. We told him the record. And if I in the morning. It, 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 oh, so what does it say? It say, if I in the morning. Yeah. That long, whatever the yeah. was, that made it go platinum. Oh. That did that shit right there. And I said, man, I'm gone. <laughs> that was it, bitch. We in man, We got a mix. How to figure it out You know what I'm saying And then Hey That bitch was a That was one talented Mother uh, Yeah Talent, that talent When Static passed away That must have been like A, a hard time for y'all though Cause Yeah, yeah. cause y'all was Y'all boys Heavy Yeah 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 That was one of my best friends He was, he was real yeah. close With Pleasure too That was one of his yeah, best friends Pleasure, too Yeah Yeah Man he, he died out of nowhere I'm in the studio Steve Noah called me He like man he gone He crying on the phone Talking about and static just died. What? Oh man, session over, man. I'm in that tear. Like, damn. See, y'all know he was sick, huh? He nah, sick. Good. He drink like when we go to the studio. He drink the Crown of Royale. You feel me? And, and he that we start a, a, a session at about two in the afternoon. He already drunk. Damn. That was his vibe. Yeah. So then I, I want to say like. Uh, you know, I, I feel like he just started sipping lean or something. Or I think, oh, yeah, I heard lean. Yeah. He was on that lean. But man. that that ain't what killed him. Hospital, he was straight. He was straight. He's supposed to come home and everything. Them like put like the um the tube, the little the little micro the microphone thing, the like the 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 camera sh down his and he died like that. Like they did it wrong. It's, it's malpractice. Mishaps. Oh God. Some mishaps. It was malpractice, dog. They killed that man. Damn. And that he had just did lollipop. Pleasure wrote lollipop yep. with him. Yep. You yeah. feel me? Yep. Yeah, they did lollipop. Lollipop, yep. Wayne biggest record. You hit you. You can hear the yep. record. You can hear the the lyrics hear, all in the yes. song. They say, "Call me so I can make it juicy." But them is pretty Ricky lyrics. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you feel That's, me? Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's Static was on the record. He died. That ain't biggest record. Mm -hmm. That blew him up. After that, it went through the roof, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah he was sure. just on MTV. Like man, they ain't playing my records. Feel me? The nigga had on the purple bait. Mm -hmm. He was just tripping. That nigga did that record right there, and everything changed. Then they did the the fuck every girl in the world. They found Drake. Everything transitioned. It is. I feel like we was at the at the forefront of that because it's it's the same team. It's Jim Johnson, Static Major. Yeah. That's our whole yeah, pretty yeah, Ricky yeah. Camp right That's there. True. I was just gonna ask about Jim Johnson. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and some more that T Pain stuff. era. That T Pain that era. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because that nigga gave me a record too. Um, I think Jim Johnson was big. He was big with Ti too, man. Him and Ti. Yeah, they Jim did. Jim Johnson trick. All yeah, Ti hits. Was Jim Johnson? Yeah. 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 White boy was killing shit. Yeah, BC was killing. Yeah, I'm trying to think. T Pain record was Shorty or something short. Short. What he that? He had I'm sprung first, right? Yeah, what the had, record he did with Plies? He said, "Huh, Shorty." Oh, Shorty. Shorty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't gotta be my enemy. Yeah. Call me my show. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty Ricky record. And I'm in the office, like, let me play you this record. And I'm like, man, we ain't doing no records, Craig. Man, I'm going to write my own records, man. 
<laughs> I shouldn't have did that though. I should have did it, but we still came with another hit anyway. You know what I'm saying? But it, it I just, I just felt like so we were self self contained. So bro. y'all turned down Shorty. Yeah, we did. Damn. Yeah, he played that for us first. What else y'all turned down, man? That, moment that, in, that, moment that. in, moment in music. Uh, what else y'all turned down that end up being big records that y'all probably be like, damn, we played on that. That that that's the one I remember the most. most okay, Shouty. Yeah, I remember that the most. Hey, y'all, that T Pain would have had to do. I mean, or whatever. Cool would have had a pleasure. Would have had to come on. Y'all would have just had to rap. Yeah, but, but we we ain't need it though. We had on the hotline yeah. that second album. You feel what I'm saying? Is that was on all. The hotline went crazy. We, yeah, we did that. Like we was just really self independent. Like we was independent before screaming that shit. When y'all came with young the hot, when y'all came with the hotline, I'm like, oh these, these niggas hanging around, boy. They hanging out. They ain't, they chilling, boy. Yeah, we were working. Lived in the studio, dog. I ain't get no. I had no social life. I, I'm in the studio every day. That's it. You ever, you ever met one of them stars coming up like you looked up to and like gave you like a wrong and you were like, damn. You never had that kind of experience before? Coming up like in the, um, coming up when I was first coming up? Nah. We was the cool. Like, it, everybody gonna be down with us. We, they trying to, man, you heard what that man say, man, he was taking old. <laughs> he was f***ing off pretty that, Ricky. What? They knew when we came, yeah. right, just came, dog. Like, so we'll be like sending the Chris Brown when we're feeling oh well, he a little kid he can't even talk to girls yet we like hey man where you at we finna send him up there we gonna flow, flow with him. like we got him yeah they in the lobby waiting you feel me we got the security they lined up they waiting like and y'all was big too so it was harder for y'all for real yeah hey, we was on it. we we bought that really yeah. we 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 in that world bro all of us had a good time everybody it, Ray J yeah Oh, wow. So what's up? No, what we going I think B2K ain't used to do too much. They used to stay in the house. They, was, they, had, they had strict guidelines. They was on that other shit, man. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah, they had they, they 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 management was strict. I remember B2K. Chris man. Stokes, man. Chris Michael Stokes, Michael. Chris Stokes was their chaperone, man. He was he was very strict. He was their chaperone. He ran Chris a, Stokes. He ran a tight house. Oh. He ran a very strict very house. Tight, strict house. Oh, yeah, but it was more for us. Yeah, them boys wasn't on that. They don't understand that Chris Stokes behavior. What's up, what's up uh, with verses? Y- y'all ain't never get no uh, call from Spencer? I-, I was in prison. Pleasure did the verses with uh, Marion and his Mario. I pretty, watched it on the I'm phone in prison. Pretty Ricky, man. Pretty Ricky versus like a B2K. They like. got to they gotta put that together. I'm out. Yeah. Where they at, boy? <laughs> Where they at? Dude, Miami, too. Uh, we going to kill him. Eat that ass. Where they at? Who you want to go They next? don't want to. Man. It gotta be B2K That's what they wanna be, see yeah. That's what they wanna That's see That's a see. big concert right there yep. You feel me yep. That's all You promote <laughs> a concert Everybody yeah. gonna come out And they gonna see us Molly Whopper mm-hmm. Cause B2K, B2K, yeah, B2K man. B2K That's a Molly Whop uh, They came Molly Whop Boy I, Hey listen I love them Don't get it twisted yeah. But this is friendly Friendly competition You feel what I'm saying They Man when we Yeah they was They, they gonna have you all in love And shit with that shit bump, bump, bump. You gonna do all drop? Bump. He started dropping them 808s. Can you make it, Jew? We talk about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I be your Jamaican lover, stroking in your. I be that Mexican lover, uh-huh. banging up your pin. Y'all talk. I be your French lover, guy. We weep your C double O T, baby. What? Man, be too gay. Man, man. I, tell me one little bitch verse, man. I can't remember that. <laughs> and that's my dog. This friendly competition. I love when y'all see me. Don't jump me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm out now. Run it. Run the verses. I'm out now. Yeah. There it go. Nigga, say you ready for the Run the verses. Yeah, yeah right, man. Live and direct. I'm out, man. They can man. You can expect going to hit the that grind. Go, man. Nah, Flipping on stage and diving in. Nah, oh, man, I want to see somebody. I want to yeah. see y'all go against somebody else, though, man. Not be too. Hey, pleasure in them bees. vocals, man. Who, who, who? Tell else? me who. Bees. Who else, though? Who? who Jodeci. Who we going against? That's what I'm saying. Who else in their era? That's the only <laughs> thing in their era. Era? era. And they was who? before our era. Who they? That was the last group before us. They can't us. battle no Jodeci. <laughs> and and, and I, I know that. And I'm gonna I'm get more funky with you. That's why he being funny. Tell me a group that came after. A dead in the game. Been no group. Candy, Who? Candy Ray. It's true. Ain't been no, no group doing true. what we do. I seen some 
Mumble rap was clean and raw, but they ain't did what we did. Culture. You know how many babies was made off Pretty Ricky? A lot. You know how many jits out there right now that got they got named after us? It's babies out there got made after this. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. it ain't no competition. And if it is, I'll point them out. Yeah. Cause there ain't none. You gotta go make them for the vouch for that. I gotta make. Oh. I gotta make group together. Oh. The no group. There it go. Damn, so, so, hold up. That's a good thing you just said. There it go. Why y'all never, why you never putting them, like, put some artists out there? Yeah, what about, yeah. I, I did, I did other groups a couple times, but, you know, they, they hard to work with, boy, and they, and it's expensive, goddammit. You got to keep the hair done, the nails yes. done, the makeup done for, I'm talking about for all of them. You feel me? Then each, each week, one of their period on, and then eventually all their periods get on at the same time. Now, it, it end up lining up for some reason. Now you're dealing with PMS from all of them. It's, it's, it's a headache, God damn it. Mm-hmm. I tried it though, I really did. Right now I'm looking for a female artist, a rap artist, really. You know what I'm saying? But man, it it, it was a headache. So what you in No male artist? I, I, or a rapper? Like? No, I do want a rap artist too, but for the particular project that I'm doing right now, I'm looking for a female. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for a raw rapper. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, is you can't force that though. Even even with every record executive, every you can't force that man. It, that partly magic, partly prayed up. Part you know what I'm saying? It is is at right timing. You gonna bump into the right artist, man. You can't force that. Mm-hmm. You can't just pick, say, oh, I'm gonna make. You gonna blow your bread. Yeah, go look at you yeah, gotta yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah, find yeah. that. You gotta be out in that style spin. You like, God damn, I gotta I gotta get a. Get a piece of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It you gotta feel that. Shit. How you feel about the Miami sound right now in the music? Ain't no Miami sound. But you know what I mean? It's a it's a void. Ain't no tell me an artist from Miami. Damn, I do know somebody. They ain't not no. Yeah. But Tafia ain't. I don't even know who that is. They ain't big enough yet. So yeah, until yeah. until somebody, Deep and that's down. no disrespect to him. He got some more grinding to do. You know what I'm saying? But until until he become a household name for Miami, is that yeah. you feel me? Yeah. The closest thing that we got to yeah. Miami sound, I, I would say would be Kodak, and he ain't he don't rep Miami. He repping Broward because that's what he want to put on the map because they they got put in the shadows for so long compared to Dade County. You know what I'm saying? So. When, I'm, when you're talking about Miami, if you talk about Florida, that's different. We got a sound. You know what I'm saying? We got a sound and we got a look. They had Cubans on. Mm-hmm. They got grills in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? They got they wear locks. They got, they got a look. We got a sound. We got all that. Florida. Mm-hmm. But if you're talking about Miami, Miami. specifically, Miami yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a void that needs to get filled right mm-hmm. now. That's all, okay, all right. Yeah. Even y'all, y'all came late, early 2000s, but y'all still had like a Miami sound somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then and then and then if you still gotta you gotta put women into the equation too, cause like, okay, what is Suki rapping? Suki from Broad too, I think. Or I don't even know if she's no. from Florida. I don't know where no, she's she from. She's from Florida, but I don't think she's from down here though. Uh, yeah, she might have came out oh, and moved, but she from Florida? She got that that ghetto rat like that. I, I like Suki a lot. Honestly. Yeah. The way she uh, because you I seen so many people wanna hate on this woman. You know what I'm saying? When she just a to make it from the bottom, yep. you know what I'm saying. She she always talk real. She talk greasy. She talk that. Sh- she do whatever. You feel me? Mm-hmm. She got sex appeal, and she doing something that's very hard to do, and that's make it in the music business mm-hmm. and not be a red bone, not be a yellow bone. She Shh. she a brown skin girl. It's hard to make it Damn. her complexion. Damn. And she she putting a dent yeah. in this. Yeah. So I gotta pay homage to Suki. It's like she doing her thing as a Florida artist because that's what she repping. You know what I'm saying? But we got we got some some high. I think Nardo Whip from down here too, ain't he? Yeah, he from Jacksonville. Jacksonville yeah. Okay, yeah, man. Florida all together. Period, man. When you in prison, all the Florida ain't together. It's a Florida thing. It ain't really about Miami or Gainesville, Jacksonville, whatever, man. It's all us really together. You know, in the same car, trying to wreck some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We trying to wreck some shit, nigga. Yeah. Feel me? Real shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what it is? So what it is for you right now, man? You just vibing? Yeah, I'm just chilling, man. I, I just jumped out. You feel me? I'm getting back acquainted to the city. You got you can't just jump out here and be hanging around there. You got to see what. 
going on, going on. on boy. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. You, you, or you end up in an indictment, yes, nigga, on a Rico cuh. charge. Yes, or sir. Yes, so, cuh. You feel me? I'm just peeping the scene, seeing what's going on, making sure I, I associate myself with the right individual, so I don't end up in. No mm -hmm. I got probation. Yes. You feel me? So I'm moving slow, but I am staying uh, busy. Every day I'm doing podcasts, interviews. Love hip hop. No love hip hop. They call me. They call me. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how how late I was to get in the call, but they called me though. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't tripping. It, it is what it is. You feel me? Like we we really did what you supposed to do with that reality. We went. We did two seasons. We got in, and we end up doing the biggest tour that y'all seen in America for the last three four years. We that been our tour, the Millennium Tour. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, that's it's true. that's the biggest tour. Right. Rolling Loud, the biggest festival. The biggest tour is Millennial Tour. That's us. You feel what I'm saying? We started at 2K. You know what I'm saying? Now it, then it went to Bow Wow or Marion, Pretty Ricky. We still is that's us. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Well, and yeah, that came out the Love and Hip Hop. It it might not make no make no sense to go back and do it, but I like I like the spotlight and I like having that that. Platform Yeah to, you should go back to, And do that man if, if it's possible They call me You know what I'm saying I let them know What I got going on They know my story They know You feel what I'm saying They pissed on me I went dead Pretty yeah, tired so, yeah. That good I can story. talk about That's yeah, a good story, story. That's yeah. a great story Yeah And it, yeah. and people People like The underdog People like to see You feel what I'm saying a Really I got out Start from scratch They got to see me Really get out And bubble all the way Am I gonna make it or not? Am I gonna fall or not? Am I gonna be the nigga that ten years from now you like, damn, boy, that nigga dick nigga? Or am I gonna be you like, damn, never got right, right. since that? Mm -hmm. it, that's up to me. I get up and I work. That's why we here right now. I, I ain't saying no to nothing. Yeah, I'm thanks. out here. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm busy too. I yeah, yeah. I'm here. Respect. Yeah. It's all family. You know what I'm saying. Always, so always, I'm gonna pull man. up. Damn right. Yeah. So what's up? What's up? What's up, P? You ain't got nothing for me. Any, qu you any questions out Rocky? there? You know Rocky? Any questions out there? Y'all just locked in. They're asleep, man. <laughs> When's the next album? The next I'm album. Ready. Right now, we got a pretty Ricky album. In the cut, in that, but we perfectionists, man. We need some more. Shit. So we, oh, okay. so we ain't dropping yet, but oh, okay. it's done. Okay, it's okay. done. Okay, it, it's done. Penny droppers. Okay. Are you guys gonna have any features? Because last time y'all didn't. So y'all gonna implement well, that now? We don't need it. We don't uh, need it. You still on the same? Need man, I'm man, I'm telling uh, you this, come man. On, man, man. Hey, listen, man. I'm promise you, I'm telling you this, man. When you when you put. You go, man, let me play you some shit. <laughs> okay, Nick, hey, I'm pretty Ricky and Nicki Minaj, man. I'm pretty Ricky and Cardi B. That's different. That's different. Come those is, those might be features that you do like remixes or something like that. But when you talk about what the fans really want to hear, and I mean, I, I guess y'all speaking on behalf of the fans. Yeah, I get it. But you really want to hear uh, that authentic, pretty nostalgic Ricky. record. You wanna, you want me to put, and you like, ooh. Like that Pretty Ricky body record that we dropped, man, that's crazy. So is it basically because well, you don't want to leave anybody out? Huh? Is it because you don't want to leave anybody out? Nah, oh. nah, we'll, we'll f with people. Don't get it twisted. Like I love Nicki, I love Wayne, I love uh, who I like ESTG, I like M Bag Yo, I like I like a lot of them. Young Miami, I like her. It's, it's a lot of artists that I really, really like. You know what I'm saying? No, meaning because you have a singer, you have rapper. Yes. So yeah. if you pick a singer, the singer might get left out. You pick a rapper, a rapper might get left it's out. It's a way to do it. It's a, it's a way to do a duet or some shit. It's a, it's a way to do it. You feel me? Because I feel like, no, y'all never had no feet. Y'all never, so the people will probably want to hear that now. Yeah. Like, oh, pretty. And pretty Ricky, like, you see, exactly. I, I agree. I agree. That would be a dope feature. On, it, can, it can't happen. It, I, mean, I ain't I mean, opposed to it. I want to hear Rihanna and Pretty Ricky. I want to hear some wind up, wind up Jamaican type collab. You see it? Okay. Yeah, you see I, it? I, ain't, I ain't mad at it. Yeah, you think we need a feature? 
We don't need him, we want it. Yeah. It's a want, right? Not a need. Not, yeah, so we ain't say, yeah, it's not a need. Okay. Yeah, not a need, yeah. But why don't y'all, y'all should do that though, cuz? I ain't mad at doing it. Hey, Nicki Minaj, give me a speech. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Wayne, we know we with you. Easy, give, give me man. a feature, Wayne. Wayne. been easy for y'all, man. Come on now. NBA man. Young Boy, we give me a beat. Where you at? Lil Dirt, yeah. give me a beat today. Pretty Ricky, we love these man. We 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 here. We watching. We watching the new age group come up, come of age. Double mulatto. Give me a feature. We to give me the new Pretty Ricky records. Hit my line. I ain't saying we won't do it. You feel me? If they hit me, we do it. If we hit them, is they gonna say yeah? So you ain't chasing. You ain't chasing. Nah, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. We 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 vets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I love all. So they gotta artists. hit you. I don't know how we gonna do it. Cause I'm saying, if you can reach out, all of them, they hit, they hit, they hit me right now. Yeah. They let's see how much, how how much legs. I just said it. It's going out there. Oh, this shit. I just said it. This legs. What Drake at? Give me a Drake and a Nicki feature, and y'all gonna know that it came from the interview. God damn it. What Drake and Nicki at? Let's start there. It came from Round the We did the we did the OBO fest for you, Drake. Give us a goddamn feature. Need it. Very confident. Huh? Who are who you look up to? Like who inspires you? Who inspires me? Yeah. Musically. Musically, I, I don't kill me. Okay. Oh. Don't kill me. I like Suge Knight. I like what he did in the music business. You feel what I'm saying? I might not like the result, and and and, but I like what he did as a businessman, and and he and he created. Monster of a record label. I like Master P. That nigga like a superhero. Basketball star, movie star, entrepreneur, investor, and he's still fucking Master P. Basically, look up to his daddy, man. Man, I, I ain't get there. You understand me? Like, Jay, like, Jay let's Prince. Say it, man. You Jay, <laughs> Jay Prince. Yeah. Okay? Jay Prince got it off the muscle. Yeah. I like him. J. Prince Jr., I like him. Yo Gotti, I like him. You feel me? I like, I like, I like these execs that really got out here and got it. I like Puffy too. Puffy, not Diddy. I like Puffy. Puffy. That work in, nigga. Y'all know how much work Puff put in when we were kids. Diddy, man. Puffy. I love, I love him. Whatever his name is, his name is Love. I love, I love Diddy. I love Love. I love Puffy. I, I love, I love his whole family. I just like what he represent. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So when you ask me who I look up to. I look up like that. I look up to Jay Z. I look up to Dane Dash. I like Dane Dash. You know what I'm saying? I like what they built together. I like Cameron and, and Jim and Jim Jones and Dipset. I like what they did together as a mm -hmm, squad. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Wu Tang Clan, RZA and Method Man and all. The, I I just love music. I love I love clicks of who get out here and get money together and pro, and be prosperous. Yeah. You feel me? I, I like that when it hating on this. I like that when. Like 50 Cent, I love, the, I, love, I love the grind and the work ethic. No matter if you hating on him or not, still show up for work and mm -hmm. he surprise you every time and, and hit you in the face with the raw you've ever seen. That's attention to detail. That's talent. That ain't luck. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love, I love that. Nice. You just said 50 Cent and um, RZA. They got TV shows going on. You ever think about it or a TV show or get any um, offers for a TV show? I mean, I'm I'm still young, dog. I just did shot us too. You know what I'm saying? I did shot us too with Kamani Marley. Yeah. And then I went to prison. You feel me? And then I had like three or four other movie offers on the table too. But I'm still young, dog. I I can do movies. I can write no. I could be like Ice Cube. I wrote music. I could write movies too. And I was in prison. I wrote my book. I wrote my life story. And I started with my daddy's life story and my mom and them. They so dope. Too. They hustled They did their time in prison You feel what I'm saying I started there That hustle In me So Yeah it, It's gonna go from That book To Okay now the story is written That's copyrighted mm -hmm. Now I come back behind that With maybe a, a TV series, series Or a movie yeah. Or Maybe a bunch of mini novels I don't know I know one thing When they kind of talking about That mother And that shit, I'm a nasty I could write nasty <laughs> Sex nasty novels for them I can do that shit Showtime at night Like that shit I can do it all You don't see like 
you nasty, but like, are you ever going to settle down? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Now I'm nasty, but I'm still intellectual as well. I'm I'm what you consider a sapiosexual. I and, and I, I'm intelligent. I, I speak well. I carry myself well. I'm I, you get you get the best of both worlds. I'm crazy. As I'm still hood. I'm huh? Nigga said sapiosexual. I got a I got a woman that I love that I that I look forward to settling down with. And if I'm lucky enough and she want to have me as her significant other for a long amount of time, then yeah, that's a blessing. You understand what I'm saying? That's me humbly saying that. Like, I, I love my girl. I, man, I love her even if I wasn't with her. I love that, that smart. I, I'm, I'm sorry to call you. Man, I love my girl, dog. I ain't even going to lie. If she could just, if she was just my best friend for the rest of my life, I, I would still be happy that she in my life, but I'd be hurt that she somebody else but I love the person that she is I love her aura her vibe her energy she's smart how to dress good she she'll be like like she know how to mix drinks like a professional and bartender or when she cook cooking and she's splitting up the tomatoes and she cooking that with the avocado and shit. she do that shit like she a chef or something like man when she dressing all that designer she put that you know what I'm saying She called me all day Every day She asked me What I think about everything She respect my mind too She's smart as f She ain't scared to like Check me Try to put me in my plate Do you know what she told me The other day she Told me Nobody like you blue <laughs> 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 well, She told me Nobody like me She like man You know you should Take you know Do a different approach Like that You like a, You like a villain You know what I'm saying And I get it I get it I get it I get it You know what I'm saying It's it, it, someone's be villains like that Kanye West Like I say Should not At some point At some point Tupac was a villain You know what I'm saying It did But as it, as the time goes by You start respecting What they talking about And you start saying Like damn That mother was deep He really had something to say But yeah I love my girl I, I would love to You know Marry her one day uh, If I'm blessed To be married You know mm -hmm. We invited to the wedding Definitely <laughs> It take a lot to marry Me that's in the music business Though that, That's a sacrifice you know how many haters come with this shit? When's the next Pretty Ricky tour? Probably the next Millennium tour. You feel what I'm saying? You got to keep hot. Can't really just be jumping out there too much like that and watering the brand down. Because we packing arenas. Polo. We packing stadiums. You understand what I'm saying? So it is, you don't really want to just be out there anywhere doing anything. It got to be the right <coughs> You understand what I'm saying? Keep it went, exclusive. Yeah, it got to be exclusive. So... Until we ain't doing the Millennium Tour no more, like we move, we move with that, cause that's something that we're a part of. And the biggest, mm -hmm. that's the biggest. Mm -hmm. Pretty Ricky Tour coming soon though. I'm out. I'm free. Yeah, we back. Yeah, feel me? Back, y'all see it. Well, I love my girl though. Where she at? Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe she'll see this and blush. Maybe she might get mad. Uh, oh, we still going? What nah, we doing? We good man. The motor barrier. You know. Man, we had, you know. <laughs> Waited on you. You got to let me teach you something, man. <laughs> to be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is absolutely. Who taught you that? Uh, <laughs> my daddy taught me that. <laughs> Unacceptable. Never be on time. Always be early. <laughs> for all y'all out there building your business credit, pay that early. You want a high credit score? For, with, with, with business credit, you got to pay ahead of time. Don't pay on time. They look at that as you a high risk value. You got to pay early. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was, was going to ask you, your brother on Spectacular, right? Um, what about he, him? And he likes like them top, top, top market nigga like I mean, yeah he, yeah, yeah, he do he do influencer marketing or something like that. He do on Facebook um, ads and stuff like that For influencers You feel me I don't really know The money. nitty gritty Of his business We in two total different worlds Two total different lanes But I'm I'm real big With e-commerce And um, building brands You feel me I made millions Doing e-commerce stores With Shopify I started on WordPress I don't really like WordPress or Wix I like Shopify And I run that bag up Holla at me If you need me so Three, Let me give him a number If you're trying to uh, Do an e-commerce brand You need help Hit my line is is three one zero four zero two seven nine one nine. Again, that's three one zero four zero two seven nine one nine. Go to my YouTube page. You can go to bigmoneyblue.com or you can go to bigmoneytalk.com. You feel me? And you can get them.
call with me or whatever. I'll put you up on game on how to run that bag up. That's Legitly hard. and legally. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Thank you, Blue. That's man. his cousin, baby. Yes, sir, man. You already know, man. What po- polo at? Polo right there in that pit. Po- polo. Asking question. Hey. <laughs> polo. You wasn't there when I got out and I was counting on you. Uh, Make up for me. Uh, you got to make up for that, cuz. Because I was depending on you. This the only <laughs> that know I was getting out. And his <laughs> in there. And he told me, about, oh, the flight, I'm, the flight didn't go. You shouldn't even took the flight. What you doing there? You know you coming to pick your cousin up from prison. I'm mad at you. Watch when I see you. We going to fight. Straight up. Supposed to be there. You was there to get Andrew. You was outside oh, you was outside to get Andrew. <laughs> That's my cousin. I love Duff. Up, That's man. my brother. And that's my But he wasn't now mad at him for real. Uh, Ain't no pressure. He know what's up. We, we up for real. Yeah, man. This was a great night. Great interview. Yes. Cause back that up for coming through, boy. You already know how it go. Yeah. All love. All love, man. We got to do this right here. Yeah. You could double back too, swing the block back too. You hey, already know. Hey, if up. I fail my mother this test, cause of y'all, hold up, y'all Bo. better hold me down. Bo, you had this, cause I feel a little. You, 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 you <laughs> know, that nigga. Podcast, baby. And we wrapping up, baby. Yes, yeah. sir. Big money, blue. Yes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs>